Hello guys, and welcome back to another Minecraft Let's Play episode, and today we are going to go raiding an ocean monument. Yes, very exciting. Now, of course, I already know some ocean monument places, and we're going to go hunt some guardians and get a lot of prismarine, and of course we're going to get some valuable sponges. So yeah, but I can't of course raid it immediately. I need to prepare myself. So I've already off camera prepared a really good trident. So all I was looking for was loyalty three and unbreaking. The main thing was loyalty because loyalty is extremely helpful. And uh, I don't have impaling yet. I would like to have impaling, but for now loyalty will do. And now one thing I need to do, which I haven't done yet, is potions. Now for the trident, um. I haven't explained how I got the trident, it's because like, off camera I found a lot of drowns in like the ocean next by and uh, a lot of the drowns had tridents so I just killed them and at one point I got a trident. I've actually got two tridents. But yeah, I got a trident so, and now I've enchanted that trident so yeah, we can just, oops, where is it? There we go, I have the back. but yeah. Let's go do some potions. So the potions we're gonna need include, uh, we need water breathing potions so we can breathe under the water because I don't have a conduit yet. And we're also gonna need some night vision potions so we can see better underwater. And another potion that would be very useful is, um, what is it? <laughs> yeah, I forgot. Uh, uh, invisibility potions would also be quite useful just because of the fact that Invisibility potions make us invisible to the guardians. So we're basically safe. There we go. I've prepared all my water bottles. And I'm going to start off by making some awkward potions. So for all regular potions, we start off with... What? With, um... <laughs> sorry. With awkward potions. So basically, I just uh, brew everything. And I'm just going to leave you to it. Because this takes quite a while. And I've explained potion brewing a lot so I'm just gonna let all my potions turn into awkward potions now so I'll just leave it and I'll come back so now I have all my awkward potions we're gonna start to go step by step for each potion so the first potion is gonna be a potion of water breathing so I'm gonna put in a puffer fish in there to make it a water breathing potion I'm also going to add some redstone to make it last a little bit longer, so it's not just a really short potion. So let me just wait for it to work. It's nearly there. And... and there we go, now I have a 3 minute long potion of water breathing. And if I add a redstone dust, I can make it last 8 minutes. So yeah, for all the potions, I'm going to add redstone to make them last longer because... Uh, redstone is, um, it's, it's more useful than other things, like, I don't need it to be a splash potion, so yeah. Redstone is gonna be what I'm gonna be using, cause it's most useful. There we go, we've got potions of water breathing. Next, we're gonna do our night vision potions, which is a golden carrot. And the final potion will be a potion of invisibility, which is basically a, a golden carrot potion, a uh, night vision potion, basically, but... Uh, inverted basically so let's just wait for it to be done there we go the night vision is ready and now I'm gonna add the last uh, one which is uh, well I needed to add a uh, redstone first but then the last one will be an invisibility potion and now we're gonna mix a uh, in wait an uh, potion of night vision with a little bit of fermented eye we're gonna add one fermented eye to make it become a potion of invisibility so let's just wait a little bit so I don't know what to say really but it's nearly done there we go and I'm preparing my fermented spider eye so I can immediately put it in and we're nearly there and now I can add my fermented spider eye and I'm gonna also want to add a um, a redstone to make it a little bit longer, but I don't have that right now, but let's just pretend like I have it right now. And I'll just do it off camera, really. But yeah, now that I've got all my potions, all I really need to do is basically just go to the monument. So let's get ready for the monument, I guess. So now it is time to go to the ocean monument. Now, first of all, what I want to do is 
make sure I've got some extra equipment and I've prepared a soccer box with all my equipment. So we're gonna have a bed just in case it turns night. Now I'm gonna prepare some TNT and some blocks of redstone because it will make it easy to access the elder guardians. So that's one uh, easy trick to use and we're also gonna bring some extra blocks too. That's gonna be very useful. And of course all of our potions, uh, chest plate and all my equipment really, all my equipment and armor. And one last thing is now I have already found an ocean monument but if you haven't found an ocean monument you can actually go find one very easily and all you have to do is trade with the villagers if I go to my trusty old um, cartographer I can buy an ocean explorer map all I need is just about 13 emeralds and a compass and I can get myself a nice ocean explorer map now these a ocean explorer maps lead you all the way to uh, the closest ocean monument so these can be very useful for finding ocean monuments but because I've already found an ocean monument I'm just gonna do it my way so first of all let's go to the nearest ocean monument now it's a little bit of a ways away but it's definitely this way I kind of remember the coordinates so it should be fine I've also got pretty good uh, render distance so I should be able to see it in no time I hope I haven't lost it this way um, there we go I found it and now I think I'm gonna make a camp somewhere not too close because I don't want to be hit by the uh, guardians so let's just set up camp right here so basically I'm just kind of putting a little block here so this should be really close to the ocean monument see the lights we can see it already and now I'm just gonna kind of prepare everything by making myself a nice platform I can come to when I'm done. So I like doing this for every kind of raiding mission, kind of prepare an outpost area. Just for like the safety really. And I'm gonna plop down my shulker box and my bed. And there we go. And I'll probably just wait till day to do this. But yeah, I'll prepare all my disguises and... I'm going to go into disguise mode, I guess. So, I have now put on my disguise, but one thing about the disguise is uh, I must take out all my armor or else they'll be able to see me and I'll also need to take this out. So now I am ready for the big uh, time to go into the monument. So, because uh, I've got my disguise, I can just kind of stay away and I've got water breathing so there's no need to worry about water so what we want to first of all do now we can see all the guardians now they can't see me because I'm in disguise mode now that doesn't mean I can't get hurt by them though ah there we go I got the bad omen um, it's not really bad omen it's uh mining fatigue so first of all I want to go to the center of the monument which is right here I'm gonna make a uh, three of add four blocks of dirt, add a TNT in here, and prepare myself a block of redstone because we're gonna blow this up and find the Elder Guardian and kill him so that then I can remove the mining fatigue. So I'm just gonna immediately kinda put it and run away. There we go. Make sure I don't get hurt. Now, because I put the dirt, that means I can break it, breaks blocks, and now I can just kill him very easy and he can't even see me now unfortunately I don't have impaling so I'll just use my sword so we're gonna there we go I've killed him so on so now we've only got three more oh it's really weird <laughs> only three more um elder guardians left to go uh, the first thing you need to do whenever you're raiding an ocean monument is of course killing all the elder guardians because they're the ones that you have a problem with because they give you mining fatigue and so you need to kill them as early as possible do i have still enough time oh mining fatigue is all nearly over so that's good so next i'm gonna find a little dot in this wing so uh where are the elder guardians they're in each wing of the uh monument so there's one in this wing one in that wing and one in the center so now I'm gonna put my thing, my TNT, blow up the area, 
go back. I'm going to retrieve my redstone because I don't have much redstone. And now I'm going to go look for the Elder Guardian. Now, he should be in this vicinity. Sometimes they do wander around. So, there's, all the, there's always the chance that he's wandered. Up. There we go. I've seen his silhouette. Ah, he's not here. What? Where is he? No, I can't mine anything because I've got mining fatigue, but I'm concerned. Oh, maybe he's like... There he is. Let me take care of him. Oh, I got hurt because of his spines. His thorns. The biggest danger with guardians is probably their beam. But you can also get really hurt from the uh, spine. So just make sure to be careful. There we go. Two done. So now there's only one more left to go. And then we're basically done with the elder guardians. But we're not done with the monument left. Ooh, let me kill him. I, I just want to kill one. Yay. There we go. And now the last one is over there. He's on the other wing. So yeah, there are three Elder Guardians in every single ocean monument. One in the central center, one in each and one in each wing. I can't talk it seems. But now I'm going to prepare my TNT contraption. And once again, oops. Messed up. Dude, I don't have I don't have I have mining fatigue. I can't do this. Get away, and now go ahead and find this little pesky, this pesky Elder Guardian. So where is he? He's probably down under. There he is. They're very big, and they're very strong. But yeah, I think the main thing you need to be careful of is their beam. Because the beam is probably the most dangerous. Because an Elder Guardian has the strongest beam, and, one, and some of the strongest... Uh, thorns. They can give you quite strong thorn damage. And the dangerous thing is I've got no armor because I'm wearing a potion of invisibility. That's why I would recommend using the trident so you don't have to get too close to them. But yeah, now I've basically done every single Elder Guardian. So now we just need to kind of find the treasure. I'm gonna kill a couple of Elder Guardians just for the fun of it, really. Honestly, I personally think if you have a good trident, it's better to use the trident than using a sword. Because uh, with the trident, you don't have to get up close to them. But now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a break upstairs and I'm going to come back and I'll tell you where we need to go raid next. Do I have... Oh, <laughs> it's really hard to see myself. But yeah, how much time? I've got just about two more minutes of each potion so I'm I think I'm gonna go back up and take a little bit of a break and come back to you in a second so now what we need to do is go into the monument and go find some loot so in terms of loot there's a chamber with uh, a lot of gold blocks there's also a chamber with a lot of sponges too so we need to explore the map the monument to find all this stuff um, I've already <laughs> that was quick so yeah the I can't see myself. That's so weird. The room with gold blocks should be right here. It would be a. It will be a very big sort of a prismarine room. And luckily, I managed to lose the uh, mining fatigue, so now I can just mine normally. Now there's only eight blocks, but it's still good. And there's also a lot of dark prismarine. So I, li I like dark prismarine. It's like a nice looking block, but. There should be more than just that. There are also rooms with sponge blocks in it. Now, now each monument will have a different amount of these rooms. I'm gonna need to take a, a thing soon. I'm, I'm running out. Whoops. Well, each uh, monument will have a different amount of sponge, so just be aware. There we go. Now I've <laughs> refilled my potions. Now my goal is to go find this uh, sponge room because I haven't found it yet. And that's kind of annoying because I do need to find it. So where is this room? Could it be in... No, not in here. If there's no sponge room, I'm going to be quite disappointed because sponge is probably the best loot from an ocean monument. But I haven't found it. But there's always a chance that it's just kind of hidden somewhere. Ocean monuments are quite big structures after all, so... 
Eee, I'm getting concerned. But there's always this uh, corridor that I haven't looked through yet. So there's always a good chance that there is, because... I mean... Most monuments have sponge rooms. There's like a really low chance that there isn't. If there's no sponge room, I know another ocean monument because I found a bunch of them. Oh no. Oh no. I think this monument has no sponge room. Or maybe it's lower down. I don't know. At this point, I'm just kind of desperate for the, desperate for the sponges. Because sponges are very useful. Where could it be though? In here? Oh, there it, there it is. I just, I just didn't find it. I guess how, how would I have found it? Oh damn! <laughs> I was kind of an idiot. Okay, there it is. Now, luckily, I brought a diamond hoe, so now I can just use my hoe to dig out all the sponge. And oh yeah, I sh normally I would have aqua affinity, so it would be faster, but. I didn't bring it today, cause I'm, no, I'm not wearing my helmet. That's why I don't have the aqua affinity. But yeah, it's, it's not taking too long. I've already got ten sponges. Yeah, as I said, the main thing about ocean monuments is sponges. That's that's why we go to ocean monuments is because we need sponge. Because sponges are extremely useful. So yeah, always bring a hose so that it's easier to mine out all the sponge. Go, just mining out all the sponge. Not too difficult. I'm nearly there. How much did I get? 33. That's not great, but it's a good amount. I hope there's another sponge room. If there isn't, I'm, I'm again. I'm gonna be a little disappointed if there isn't, but hopefully there is. After all, these monuments are kind of mazes. But yeah, once I've raided this monument, I think one thing I might I'll do is an Guardian farm out of it this. But yeah, I'm tr I'm desperately trying to find another ocean monument somewhere. An another ocean monument somewhere, another sponge room somewhere. Well, it could always be like this side. I doubt it. Yeah, this one doesn't lead anywhere. It's kind of annoying. Down and down? No. Where could these? Usually the sponge rooms are lined with um, dark prismarine. So that. Oh, another one! There's another one! I found another sponge room. I'm gonna take a nice screenshot of this. Whoops. Ooh, nice. Also, what day is it? Oh, day 992. I'm gonna need to do a world tour soon. There we go. I'm just mining out all of the. It might be night right now. I should probably get back to my bed, but because we're on the ocean, there's no danger. But yeah, I'm just what is happening? I keep getting weird glitches with the sponge. There you go, mining it all out. Ooh, nearly a stack. That's good. Yeah, as I said, sponge is really, really useful. Use useful. I'm, I'm starting to become more and more British. But yeah, very useful. But I keep saying useful now. Very useful. But now I'm trying to find more rooms. I doubt there's any more because it's qu that. There's already quite a lot. I don't think there's anything that way. Yes, yeah, this is just the uh, the walls of the monument. Uh, I think the most is probably three rooms, and we found two rooms, so that's pretty good. Now the only thing is I need to find my exit. Uh, yeah, monuments are kind of a maze. There we go, I found the exit. Yeah, it's night. Ooh, the hunting squid, the guardians. As I said, what I really want to find are some uh, sponges, so I'm just going to continue... Searching for the sponge rooms just in case I might I might not have completed everything. There's always a chance I, think I found this room Yeah, I'm back to the central room So yeah, I think there's no more sponge. There shouldn't be any more sponge Yeah, this is walls. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna keep any any dark prismarine I get I'm gonna keep it 
Is Dark Prismarine, do I have enough? Yeah, I've got two minutes, okay. Any Dark Prismarine is quite useful, but I think off camera, I'm probably just gonna go try and raid another Ocean Monument off camera at some point. Just because I want a lot of sponges, because at some point, I'm gonna drain an Ocean Monument, because I think it's a really interesting task. Another thing I might do is get some lanterns. Sea lanterns? So that's cool. No. Just... Yeah, sea lantern. That's cool. And I think one thing I might try to do is just get some... Nope. Messed up. Try to get a couple of... Nope. Messed up. It's so hard to kill them. They swim so fast. I think I'm just gonna leave it. There's nothing really interesting anymore. I found all the rooms. I'm just gonna leave through the exit and maybe get a couple. I did get hurt. Nope. Nooch. Yay! A couple of prismarine shards or whatever they're called. They're called. Ooh, I'm gonna need to drop something. I'm just gonna drop a bo bottle. A prismarine crystals and prismarine shards. I'm gonna get a couple. So let me just off camera just kill a couple of guardians. So, I basically raided this entire ocean monument. There we go. It's basically done. So, this is the loot we got. Um, let us let me just take out what isn't loot. Uh, let me just take it out. There we go. <laughs> Slowly. Easy does it. There we go. There's all of our loot right here at the top. And I will be quite honest. Uh, our motion monuments don't have great loot. The really good thing is, of course, the wet sponge. The sponge is super useful, but apart from that, there isn't much useful loot in an ocean monument. The main thing is, of course, the... Um, well, basically, the most important thing is the fact that you have an ocean monument, and you can make a guardian farm, which is basically just a uh, prismarine farm. So you can make a prismarine farm out of an ocean monument. And that's why I rated it, because... I need to take out the Elder Guardians before making the farm and also take in any loot that is in there. But apart from that, there isn't in anything. And there's no point killing a lot of uh, Guardians because they naturally just spawn all the time. So it's easier just to make a farm if you want the Prismarine. But yeah, well, I guess that's it for this video. Now, I would do an outro back at the base, but I'm kind of lazy. So I'll just do it right here in front of the monument. We can't see it very well. I'll I'll take my, I'll take my potion just so we can see it better. Nummy nummy num, there we go. Look how nice it is. Ah, oh, that's nice. So yeah, well, I, I guess I'm just going to leave it to you. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, of course. And yeah, as I said, um, I'm saving this for a farm. This ocean monument will become a guardian farm in the future and i'm also gonna go raid some other ocean monuments off camera but i don't think i need to show it because now that you know the technique it's very easy of course go in with potions now i must not lie this is a very stealthy uh, method it's using the potions is it's like a stealth method of going it's like a sneaky method of raiding an ocean monument which can seem a little bit cheaty but it's also really easy so that's why I showed it off first, but in the future I'm gonna do a hardcore raid with no potions. But the main reason is because I don't have a very good trident yet. My trident only has... Yeah, it's got no impaling, so honestly, I'm not ready yet. But I'm I'm definitely in the future gonna do a hardcore raid, but not now. So yeah. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and don't forget to like and subscribe. And next week, we're gonna be back here at the exact same monument. So yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe and goodbye!